like to talk a little bit more about different kinds of control services. I talked about them in general, but here is our control service that we use. It's an Alation, uh, just regular old dimmer console. And this has regular DMX controls in the back. So again, just three pin DMX, you can plug right into along with power. And there is some audio inputs here. But essentially, each, each channel is controlled on one of these sliders. And there's some, oftentimes some ways to kind of get other channels. And for regular lights, that are not, they're not really regular anymore, but the old style lights that were just either on or off or dimmed somewhere in the middle, these panels work great. And the unfortunate thing is these panels don't work well for doing RGB lights and color lights, LEDs, because it's very hard to mix colors using these unless you're very skilled. And you think about it, if we have a six channel light, it's gonna take six of these faders for just one particular light. And again, how, how do you know exactly what color you're going to get? You have to be kind of an expert about how do you mix color. So when you're moving into the LED uh, colored light space, these are not great. Now there are some ones that are better and are designed for RGB. Still they're difficult because it's, it's hard to pick colors off of a board like this. And it's much easier to pick colors when you have some kind of a computer interface or some kind of a screen. And some of the new boards do have screens built in, and they, there's some great ones that, that do work like that, or some of them that interface with a computer so that you have a physical thing to control while you're actually doing something live, but you set it up essentially with the machine. So those are kind of the basic options. And I'll talk through a little bit in another video about why we chose uh, the iPad and the piece of software that we did.